20 years since South Africa's dawn of democracy, the country faces challenges like poverty, crime, corruption and even xenophobia. The Jewish community recently launched a new interfaith initiative to address the country's post-apartheid problems. Tea Diplomacy Representatives of various religious groups attending a mid-morning tea function marking the launch of the new Come for Tea Interfaith Forum. The South African Jewish Board of Deputies and the Union for Jewish Women are behind this project. A lot of the interfaith forums that exist are very much based, Christian based or politic based. Um, and we are coming to it from a different perspective. We are trying to invite people from all faiths to come and have a dialogue, really make friends of strangers, get to know each other and work from grassroots up to solve problems and really help South Africa. South Africa is a secular democracy with religious freedom. Interfaith forums and organizations have already been established to deal with issues like social cohesion and moral regeneration. Interfaith um, meetings or, or, or gatherings have not had much success because um, in most communities interfaith is done at a very small scale. The meetings are happening in the little corners, but uh, you don't find bigger meetings that will involve the entire country. It really is what it says it is. Come for a cup of tea and a biscuit and a cake, piece of cake, and let's talk and get to know each other and really see what are the issues that we face in common. We very often, the more we talk, realize that we have more in common than we have differences between faiths and cultures and this provides a very meaningful relationship building forum to discuss those issues and discuss solutions. All were in agreement about the importance of interfaith dialogue in addressing post-apartheid challenges. Attendees also discussed the practicalities of taking this initiative forward as well as the role religious leaders should play in addressing these societal issues. It's a God-given role, they are a voice of conscience. They should give direction to all people living in this country. For me, that is the hope forward that we, uh, we enrich each other through what we've done together, because it's not as though we're starting from scratch. And then building on that common uh, faith that we've done, because it's not the specifics of each religion, it's what what do we believe God wants of us, irrespective of our color or faith? And how can we go forward and do something in addition to what we've already done in South Africa? The socialization of the past still persists in societies. The stereotypes, everything. In fact, even the vicissitudes, you can see when you look at people, they still live the same way as they lived. They're still as separated as before. So we need to go out to those people and ensure that we educate them and integrate them and make sure they're able to live with one another. It is now up to this forum to prove that solving South Africa's problems is not in numbers, but in faith and togetherness. I'm Marisa de Klerk in Johannesburg for JN1.